Hello friend, today we are discussing in study with Manish what is IP address and why we are using it and what is what is the different type of IP addresses are available and it is more useful for our career when we are talking about more on cloud side or any kind of devices. So IP addresses have a distributed, I have IP addresses is 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 available in most of the technologies. So we are trying to understand them. The first question is that why, what, what exactly the IP address is? IP address is a unique address that identifies the devices on the network and the local network. So suppose we are connected, we have a lot of gadgets we are using in day-to-day -day life and every gadgets have their own IP address. So for example, when we are, uh, we, every houses have a routers which actually help to provide internet connectivity to all the other devices which are connected with that. So when the ISP, which is internet service provider, provide the internet to provide, which is connected with the router, it gives us a, a particular number, which we are seeing a IP address. And that IP address is a public IP address because it is connected with the internet. And the router, which is this device, which is locally connected with the number of gadgets and what router is doing router is providing the local ip address to distribute the local ip address to these gadgets so that e that device can understand what the gadgets are connected so that it can provide the easily provide the internet and the request from those devices so that's the reason we are interested for the ip address so ip address are two type one is static and another is dynamic so dynamic is like every time whenever whenever the whenever we are rebooting the system whenever the reset the system it always changing the ip address so that 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 ip address is called the dynamic ip address but the static ip address will always be a constant so maybe today tomorrow and day after tomorrow it will always be a same for that particular browser or that particular device it means that 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 tool have a or device have a or browser have a or uh, that have a unique IP address so that that is called the permanent IP address so now the second point is coming here what is the IPv4 and what is the IPv6 IPv4 and IPv6 IPv6 is the latest IP address system and IPv4 is the the first generation so in IPv4 and why IPv when IPv4 was there why IPv6 created because the more devices are coming into the internet because the early days there was very few devices on the, in the internet now the, as the digitalization and broadband or internet connectivities are popular more devices are coming into the internet so every devices are now it is needed for a ip address for that reason ipv ipv6 created and that have a big number of ip addresses are available which helps to connect more devices into the internet so the whole idea behind is more devices need to need IP address. That's why IPv6 is available. IPv4 available. It's it's designed in 1981. IPv6 designed in 1991, 1999. It is a 32-bit. It is a 128, and it is a decimal. De there don't uh, we are notations we are defining, and here we are defining a hexadecimal. So it's a little uh, hexadecimal means it's have a alphanumeric so it's so and it's a 2 to the power 32 ip addresses are available and here 2 to the power 128 so it's a huge 2 trillion trillion ip addresses are available so it's a big number so now we are trying to understand that what exactly the ip ipv4 ipv4 is a binary binary representation of that that particular that particular uh, IP address for that particular device. So it's a, actually it is a very difficult to to readability form because we it's a difficult to understand where is I, where is one, where is zero. So when we are converting into the binary format into the decimal means two to the power zero, two to the power zero, two to the power one, and two to the power seven, and two to the power. So it's a, it's a, it have a one it's have a eight octet. It it's in one octet have a eight. And it's similarly here it have a 8 bit so it's different so when we are calculating it it come up to 192 it's come up to uh, 168 it's come up to 100 it's come to 1 so 
when we are converting octet to octet to decimal binary to decimal uh, it we find a readable format and that's a uh, that's the way how ipv4 design it's uh, it's we are using it and it's a it's a value of one octet is lying between 0 to 255 so now the second point is coming how we are how why ipv why ipv4 classes are available so whenever you, you find you will find that there are a number of classes are available in ipv4 also so uh, so first of all why we needed classifications because uh, uh, because we have we have a different devices are connected with with in organization level so and we need to classify that which organization have a more distribution needed and which organization have a less distribution needed for that reason classification classes are available in class a we have a more host we can connect it the first network id is a fixed network id means the first octet the first octet is fixed and the remaining octet three octet have a host id means connected devices the similarly class we have a two network id is blocked and the second the rest two host id means less host devices are needed to connect uh, class c have a three network id is blocked for network id for that uh, for that organization or that and the remaining host id for the for the devices which are connecting multicast and reserve id this for especially for the for the experimental purpose so class a class b and class c are actually using for the for the day to day we, where we are we are finding into the different organization and different uh, uh, different uh, uh, different day-to-day -day life we will find in different so ABC are the usually it's a popular and uh, yep so that's what we understand here that uh, um, that how the what is the IPv4 how it is IPv6 and why when the IPv4 was already there why IPv6 needed and what is the classification what is the decimal number why if the binary is there why we are using into a decimal number because we need a human readability format that's the way how we can understand ip address in a one you know at a glance so that's the whole idea is uh, ip so thank you thank you to everyone